Hey, Canucks fans. Who is the ideal blue line partner for Quinn Hughes this season? I'm Clay Emo. I'm at Canuck Clay on Twitter. I'm at Clayton Emo on Instagram. I'm the founder of the GLCBC, the Good Looking Canucks Positivity Club. And there's my Canucks take, all in one take. It's Clay's Canucks commentary for Sunday, August the 11th. Right away, I want to give a thank you and a shout out to Darren Walsh of Walsh Pavers for sponsoring this video. As always, the link to his website is down below in the description. Yes, we're excited about next season. We're excited about the forwards. We keep talking about who's going to play with who, trying to predict the top two lines. Who gets to play with Pedersen and Besser will be JT Miller, Michael Furlan, and by default, the other guy will get to play in another good spot with Bo Horvat and Tanner Pearson. But I want to look at the blue line today. I want to look at the much improved blue line, right, with the with Tyler Myers, with Jordy Ben, and a full season of Quinn Hughes. A huge improvement over what we started with last year with Michael Delzato, Derek Pouliot, and Eric Branson. So I want to talk, I want to get your opinion on who, what you think are the three ideal defense pairings for next season. And granted, we know things are going to change with injury or with matchups, whatever it may be. But let's just talk with a couple, you know, a couple uh, assumptions or presumptions here. Let's go with a full healthy lineup of the 6D. And let's presume that just, just to make this easier, instead of all the combinations and permutations, I'll do it in order. I'll use the left side D as kind of my, you know, as kind of standard and, and, and consistent. And then we'll talk about slotting the right side D in. So what I mean is, let's talk about for now, Alex Edler is the number one D man on the left side. Quinn Hughes is number two. Jordy Ben as number three. And then we'll cycle through Tyler Myers, Chris Tanev, and Troy Stetcher. All right. So uh, leave a comment below as I go, as I talk. Tell me what what, resounds, uh, what resonates with you. And we'll see what we come up with. And I'll give my, my kind of feelings at the very end. So let's start with the first pairing. That's Alex Edler. I think all three guys, you can make a case for all three guys. He's played with Chris Tanev before. And that used to be, you know, our best... D pairing, some offense, some size, some shutdown ability. And up until last season, that was a that was a go-to pairing for us. Then, of course, the, both guys got injured last season, both Edler and Tanev. So we saw Edler with Troy Stetcher for a long period of time. And Troy Stetcher, because of the injuries on the right side and the lack of depth, he shot up to the number one right side D-man, especially when Tanev was injured. So we saw Edler and Stetcher play together. And there you have a, a Edler's uh, you know, a relatively big guy. He doesn't play massive, but he's a bigger body, still a decent skater and a good vision. But then you have Troy Stetcher, who is uh, you know, even a better skater and not afraid to you know to carry the puck a little bit so that's an option and then the third option would you you'd have Alex Edler and Tyler Myers that would be a pairing of guys who make six million dollars a year so that's a 12 million dollar pairing so by money standards that would be your first pair right there uh, Tyler Myers not sure where he's going to shake out first pair second pair third pair well hopefully not third pair that's an expensive third pairing so Tyler Myers could play in the first unit with uh you know the first pairing with Alex Edler or the second unit with Quinn Hughes if Myers plays with Edler in the first unit like I said that's an expensive unit that's 12 million dollars there but then you, you'd expect them to be your your two best d-man and obviously you have your, your best combination of size there you have some offense because Tyler Myers brings offense to this game really good skating so that would be an interesting pairing so for Alex Edler who's the best pairing who's the best partner for him is it old faithful Chris Tanev is it Troy Stetcher with that chemistry found last year or is it newcomer Tyler Myers in you know the combination of relatively well paid no very well paid and the the best size the best size uh, combination there Let's go to the number two man. That is Quinn Hughes, rookie Quinn Hughes. Three assists in five games last season. Tantalized all of us with his potential, and we can't wait to see what he does full season uh, with a full season under his belt. So let's see what it would look like with him. Do you play him with Chris Tanev? Chris Tanev is the safest demon, the most shutdown demon of those three guys I just talked about. With Chris Tanev, you, you know... Um, Quinn Hughes with his great skating, with his great vision, his zone entries, his zone exits. You could almost, uh, that's a, a very well-balanced pairing in that you can have Quinn Hughes doing all the puck carrying and Tanev can, what do you call it, hang back or can be the more defensively responsible one. So that pairing could work. And obviously Tanev, with a lot of experience, um, would be able to, would be able to not even shelter Hughes. Hughes doesn't have to be sheltered. I think it would be a good compliment to him. Do you pick... Uh, pair Quinn Hughes with newcomer Tyler Myers and that would be uh that would be just a physical you know neat thing to see six foot eight Tyler Myers with five foot ten or whatever he is Quinn Hughes and uh you know obviously almost a foot difference there that would be kind of neat to see on on the ice but more importantly there you have a very offensive minded pairing there because Quinn Hughes obviously with the skating and with his with his passing and vision and hockey IQ 
very offensive minded and Tyler Myers as I just mentioned when I was talking about him earlier he um, brings a lot of offense and good skating so you'd have a really good skating pair there and with a, a nice combination of size and skill and that would be kind of appealing to me and then you that means that um, basically Tyler Myers is playing in a second pairing role or do you pair Quinn Hughes or Troy Stetcher this would not be the biggest pair ever they would not instill the any, any fear into anyone but they would be good skaters they would move the puck well they'd be able to walk the line so to speak they'll be able to hold the puck in and will give you some you know some creativity and I think some excitement and Troy Stetcher, very determined as well, uh, plays well above, fights well above his weight class, so to speak. So yeah, the, the only thing you worry about a little bit on the defensive end is would they get manhandled a bit? Would they be pushed around just get, by guys who are bigger, stronger, lower centers of gravity, uh, you know, more experienced than Quinn Hughes, obviously. Troy Stetcher has some experience now. So that pairing would be intriguing, but I, I think that's the least pairing, uh, the least, uh, you know, likely of the three, to be honest with you. So that's Quinn Hughes. Do you put him with Chris Tanev? And, and have the steadying force there. Do you put him with Tyler Myers, have some good skating and a nice combination of size and speed? Or do you put him with Troy Stetcher, great skating, great speed, but maybe too small in their own end? Let's go to number three, Jordy Ben. And here, you know, um, let's go through the three guys again. Jordy Ben and Chris Tanev, that would be a good shutdown pair. Does that, that means Chris Tanev is playing third pairing minutes, but maybe that's okay for this stage in his career. So with Ben and Tanev, I think you have your safest bear pair possible. You could go Ben with Myers, and I just don't see that happening from a standpoint of if they're going to slot Ben as a third pairing defenseman, I'm not sure if you can afford to put Myers in that bottom pairing with him, and then and then basically then Myers is only playing you know 15, 16, 17 minutes a game as opposed to the 20, 21, 22 that he he should be able to play, especially for making that much money. So that's probably the least. Uh, the least likely pairing of the two newcomers, Ben and Myers, but I still think they would be effective. Uh, Myers skating, like I said, and then and then Ben kind of Ben has a very similar game to Tanov, I think, and they can play in all situations, but kind of kind of steady Eddie, so to speak. And then you could put Ben with Troy Stetcher. This could be likely, you know, especially if you consider Troy Stetcher a third pairing D-man. They'd be very, uh, they'd be solid as well. Stetcher could be the puck mover. Ben could be the stay-at-home guy. And we can go from there. So I could see all three of those options working with the Tyler Myers option with Jordy Ben being the least likely. So putting all of those combinations together, I think, again, using Edler, Hughes, and Ben as the pecking order down the left side, I definitely would not put Tyler Myers with Ben. That's the only one I wouldn't do for sure on that third pairing. So that means Myers either plays with Alex Edler or plays with, with uh, Quinn Hughes. You know what I see happening? I actually see this. I see it being Edler and Myers on the first pairing. Then I see it being Hughes and Tanev on the second pairing. And then I see it being Ben and Stetcher on the third pairing. Hughes, sorry, starting at the top, Edler and Myers, like I said, I've said it three or four times, I should stop harping on it, but it is an expensive uh, pairing, $6 million a piece, but they give you a nice combination of size, of offensive ability, and, uh, and, and experience. I like that. The second pairing for Quinn Hughes of the three right you know, right shot D-men, I think Chris Tanev is the best complement to Quinn Hughes' game from a standpoint of they can uh, compensate for each other, and Chris Tanev can be a safe outlet for him in the blue line you know in the back end and a safe partner for him and then you have Jordy Ben with Troy Stetcher Troy Stetcher yes he played up to the top line last year the top pairing but that was because of because of injuries and lack of depth I think he's good uh, but maybe I, I certainly don't think he's a first pairing defenseman right now so maybe he's more suited to be a third pairing defenseman and there's nothing wrong with that especially given his experience in the world championships last you know earlier this this year and I think he could be a good pairing uh, a good partner for Ben so that's what I would do I would start off the season at least with Edler Myers Hughes Tanev Ben Stetcher if anything I might flip uh, Tanev and Edler Sorry, Tanev and Myers. So then you have Edler, Tanev once again. They're used to playing with each other. Then you have Hughes with Myers in the second pairing. And then third pairing of Ben and Stetcher. I've seen a few people, you know, uh, elevate Stetcher to the first pairing so he could play with Edler once again because of the chemistry they had last year. But I simply don't see Stetcher playing uh, ahead of both Myers and Tanev when Tanev is healthy. So again, my bottom line, I got Edler with Myers, Hughes with Tanev, Ben with Stetcher. Canucks fans, we'd love to hear what you think. I don't think you can go wrong with any of these combinations, 
But uh, tell me what you think. Do you agree with my assessment or do you have some other pairings in mind? And maybe put a reason why, a reason or two why you would go with your pairings as opposed to the ones I suggested. As always, leave a comment below. I'd love to read, react, and reply. Subscribe if you like to. Like this video if you like to. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. Only a few hours left, but enjoy it. Have a great day. God bless. Go Canucks, go.